This video is brought to you by Corsair and the new Corsair Dark Core RGB SE wireless gaming mouse. With a one millisecond response time, you're not gonna have any lag or connection issues online when you're gaming competitively or just for fun. It has a 16,000 optical gaming sensor, RGB lighting, and swappable grips to fit your hand. Check the link in the description down below to learn more. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and this is obviously a very different video than what we're used to on this channel, but at the same time, extremely relevant to you guys and anybody in the PC building community, or anybody just in the tech community in general. We're gonna be checking out a game called PC Building Simulator, which just released on Steam for 20 bucks, but it's more than just a game. Think of this essentially as like PC part picker, but real time, in 3d so not only does this game teach you how to build a pc but you can go in and actually build a pc with any component really you want from the ground up but why it's really cool is say in real life you want to upgrade your cpu or your graphics card but you're not too sure if it's going to be worth it or what kind of upgrade you'd get in here you can go in build that upgrade your pc and then benchmark it to see what kind of results you're getting. And that's all thanks to their collaboration with Future Marks. You can go in, benchmark your game with the 3D benchmarks, the 3D mark. And that's, you know, just one little aspect here. They have a ton of official licensed partners, AMD, Intel, Cooler Master, uh, Corsair, EVGA, CryoRay, Gigabyte, MSI, NZXT, InWin, Silverstone, just to name a few of that growing list of official partners. So you're gonna have their, their components, their hardware, in this game for you. It's really, really vast, it's really cool. We're gonna cover this video in three parts, talking about you know the game itself, there is a story mode even, so talking about all that stuff, my thoughts and opinions on this, and then where I could see this going and why it is relevant to you guys out there. So let's check it out, it's really exciting. So first up, let's talk about the actual meat of the game. Um, it is pretty simple, you know, it's not gonna blow you away in terms of graphics, but in terms of the actual story mode, you essentially, you, you run a PC repair shop. So you, you have your very own 3D workshop that you can walk around and stuff like that. Um, so that's your job in the game. You can level up, you earn money to buy more components just for yourself. It's really cool. So what happens is people will drop off a PC for you and they'll leave a note like, hey, uh, just built this you know, I think it has a virus. Can you, can you scan it and clear the virus? Or maybe they wanna upgrade their RAM or they want to swap out and get a new graphics card. They drop it off for you. You do all that stuff. And then when I, at the end of the day, when you're done, you leave it by the door, you pretty much claim your money. And then you can go to your PC in the game and then check for more emails. It's going to give you like jobs and stuff like that. You can take on to again, level up. You can upgrade your studio or your workshop and buy more components for you to have and for things for you to use. So it's pretty cool. It's not, you know, the most expansive thing I've ever seen, but at the same time, it's really not even like a necessary part to this thing. It's just a little added bonus if you do kind of like that um, RPG aspect to it where you can level up and earn money for your PC repair shop. So that's all things you can do in here. The second aspect to the game itself is the actual uh, building a PC tutorial. So if you've never built a PC before, if you're, you think it's very intimidating, you just don't know how, they show you step by step, or well, you actually have to do it, but you're building your very own PC in this game. They have, like I said before, a ton of official licensed products from tons of different companies. So you can build really whatever PC you want. Um, but they obviously don't have every single component and hardware out there of all time, but the list is growing. It is pretty expansive. But if you don't know how to build a PC, they show you how to do it. And while you're building it, they show you, you know, like what you're doing and why you're doing this and how it all makes sense. And they tell you like real time specs and all the, you know, the information about the hardware you're using to build your PC. So it is really helpful for those of you out there who don't know how to do this and you possibly want to do it. Um, at the same time, it is kind of tedious because in the game, you actually have to take out every screw, screw it back in, put on the motherboard standoffs, plug in the cables. So there is that, you know, that real time aspect to you building a PC. One of the things I'll say is in like the free builder mode, you can uh, pick upgrades to where like, you know, screws automatically lock in. So you can just, you know, press on the screw and it'll go in or the cables will automatically connect for you. So you don't have to waste your time doing that. You already know what you're doing. So you can kind of upgrade your, your, uh, your technique in the game of how you build, but so you guys know you have to take off like the PCIe slots, unscrew things, screw them back in. Even things like unlatching the dim slots on your RAM, opening up the shield for your CPU. Like that is all in there. 
And if you mess up or something, it'll tell you, you know what the issue is. You have to actually power on your PC so if it doesn't boot, obviously there's gonna be a problem. And maybe, maybe it's something that's not compatible. One of the cool things is you can actually sort in the game by compatible products so you then know which is compatible. So you're not gonna be, you know, running an older uh, an older CPU from Intel with an AMD motherboard. You know, that wouldn't make sense. So it, it does sort by compatible products. You can pick from that. But it just really gives you a hands-on experience with learning about PC building and all the components and stuff. You are essentially getting the whole experience of building a PC in their whole, in their whole tutorial. That's how the game is, so that's pretty cool. But the third um, component to this game is just the free build mode, where, like I said before, you can just go in, everything is unlocked, you have pretty much infinite funds, so you can build your very own PC from the ground up. And I've already read off the list of partners like twice, but they have a ton of cases in here, um, a lot of the ones from like Cooler Master, um, NZXT, and since it just released, I do expect this to be growing as they go, which is really, really cool. And I assume a lot of companies are gonna, gonna they're gonna wanna hop on board and add their components to this as well. So for example, let's say you wanna build a PC, you can go in, pick your NZXT case, you know, then from there you install the motherboard. They have a mostly uh, MSI motherboard that's all and some gigabyte ones. But the compatibility is just really, really expansive and it's really impressive from older Intel CPUs, you know, they have the newer Skylake, KB Lake. Um, if you can think of it, or if it's relevant in the past like five years or so, odds are it's in this game and it's growing. Um, like I said, they have the Intel stuff, AMD to the Ryzen CPUs, even Threadripper builds if you want to go in and build those. And it's just, it, think of this, like this is PC part picker, but in a 3D building game where you could see the rig that you want, or that you, like your dream build, in real time right there for you as a rendered 3d product that you can go in and build yourself if you want and then benchmark it so that's really cool they have that um there's even things like with rgb lighting so if you're if your graphics card does have rgb lighting on it i know a lot of motherboards have rgb lighting ram has rgb lighting on it since it all is you know licensed compatible products in the game, you can go in and change the RGB lighting. So you are seeing an identical version of whatever PC you wanna build, and then you can change it and modify it as you go. So if you can think of it, if you wanna upgrade your PC, you can do that in this game, and then benchmark it, and compare different benchmarks, different builds you do in this game, so you can see how it would perform in real life. And like I said, this is sort of like your very own um, workshop. So you can kind of upgrade it the more you go. Uh, right now, it is still kind of bare bones, but I, I'd say that. But you do have kind of three uh, benches for you to work on. But hey, it's it's better than nothing. It's really cool. So now talking about like what I think about it and where I can see this going. Like I said, some things are very tedious in terms of like you know actually having to unscrew the screws for literally everything and screw them back in. But I did mention there are those upgrades you can do. So I would definitely do that to kind of save you time in the game so you can just really breeze through it. I spent around two hours and a lot of it is just kind of like, you know, finding, you know, how the game works because some things you have to do and like you have to actually take off the PCIe slots, uh, the shields for like your power supply. So once you kind of figure out the whole UI of this and how this works, you can definitely get going and start building your PCs a lot more quicker. But for what it is, it's very, very impressive and it's just a very helpful tool. No, it's not free. Like I said, it is 20 bucks, but I think that is definitely worth it to anybody out there who wants to build a PC, or if you are in the PC building community, community, sorry. And like I said, you want to just see how products perform real time before you upgrade your very own rig in real life, do it in the game, benchmark it, and see how it performs. So I think that's really cool. Um, some things like it's where I could see this going on down the line is like, I personally, I'd like to see kind of even more customization for your studio. Maybe I want to see how it runs with two monitors, you know? I want to upgrade. Maybe I could even build my very own setup like I have here in real life in the studio. That would be cool. Don't know if it's going to be possible or anything like that, but um, it'd be cool to see. And I've mentioned it numerous times now, but since this just released, the, the list of hardware is still pretty expansive, but limited at the same time. So I assume this is going to keep growing and growing, adding more hardware, more components as the list goes on. And it would be cool since they already have a collaboration with NZXT, if you could, you know, put in something like the NZXT Hue Plus. So you could get the RGB light strips in there and really see the, the colorfulness and how cool your PC would look real time before you go out and buy it. 
Um, so I just want to put this video out there for you guys so you can check it out, get a first look at it. Because, like I said, if you don't know how to build a PC, this is very, very helpful. And you can just go in, build your very own, uh, your very own rig, your dream rig. And if you want, dive into the story mode and run your PC repair shop where you can, you know, get more money, upgrade things along the way as you level up, up like kind of upgrade more parts to your shop. There's even like a store in the game where you can buy more things. Um, there's like the air dusters. You have to actually apply the, uh, the CPU cooler and like the thermal paste. It's really cool, so I recommend you guys check it out. And even today on Steam, when they released it, they put out kind of like a, an update roadmap, because it's still kind of early access, if you will, allowing for things like cable management, um, water cooling in the game, you know, custom water cooling would be cool, adding AIOs, because right now just, um, just regular air coolers are compatible. They want to add overclocking, you know, even adding things like modding your case. So it's really cool to see how proactive they are in wanting to make this as real to life as as possible so you can go in and just make whatever PC you want um, they didn't actually they didn't ask me to do this I have had no contact with them whatsoever I just saw it thought it was cool and relevant to you guys because I know how popular PC part picker is this is like the next best thing so I want to check it out do a video for you guys to let you know it does exist and how helpful it really really is so I'll put the link down below uh, I think I can do that right I can put steam links yeah I'll put the steam link down below for you guys so you can check it out if you like this video if you thought it was helpful thought it was you know new and interesting give this video a thumbs up to show your support feel free to follow me on Twitter at random Frank P and lastly if you haven't already hit that subscribe button on random Frank P hope you enjoyed have a good day